Hi everyone. Um, I've been a lazy gal today, Sunday, and I was going to get all that wardrobe done yesterday, but I didn't because I had visitors, and I was going to do it today, and I didn't because I was being, I was just prevaricating. I was um, looking on my phone and looking on Amazon and looking at all sorts of stuff um i don't know why i'm looking but i'm at um wedding dresses i mean i don't want one and i don't know why i'm looking and i'm thinking that one would have been nice i'd have preferred that style when i got married why am i looking i don't i don't understand myself just lately i really don't um, I was thinking of going to look at that apartment tomorrow if we can get an appointment and if and if um, I'm feeling okay the problem is also because of the Covid people are working at home from tomorrow, if they can, um, due to this new strain of COVID. So Boris Johnson has asked anybody, everybody who can to work from home. So I'm not sure whether people will be showing prospective tenants around properties. Um, try saying that quickly. So if not, We'll see how it goes, maybe Thursday, maybe the following week, I don't know. Um, Money-wise, it's £700 a month, which I'm not paying anything at the moment because my house is paid for. But if I rented this house out, I'll be using my house. I get a rental of about £1,700 a month, which is, you know, a £1,000 a month more. But then I'm not sure how the tax would go. I'd have to pay for an agent to oversee it all. I'd have the worry of um, the tenants messing it up. So I think probably if I am going to, go and rent somewhere the, my best prospect is to sell it um, and keep enough in the bank so I can pay my rent so we'll say I don't know what's a reasonable rent where everybody is this is £700 a month which I think is quite reasonable and it's a nice little flat so we'll say what a pity I haven't got a Chantal in my life who could come and pay pay my rent, pay for my food and clothing, give me a little bit of pocket money. No, I just got it made, hasn't I? He's not going to um, do anything to rock that particular boat until he decides that he wants to jump ship. And um, when he does... It's not going to be a pleasant sight. Um, Chantal, I believe, will go into meltdown. So let's get this straight. She's paying for Nada's apartment, buying his clothes, buying his food, giving him pocket money, sending money to his mother. Have I got that right? This is what she's sort of saying and intimating. And then she's paying most of Pete's bills. She's paying for the apartment. I don't know whether she's paying for all the bills or half of the bills. She's probably giving him money to look after her cats. Um, and both of these men, she's helped set up their YouTube accounts. Um, Pete's under his own name, I believe, and Nada's under 
uh, Santel's name. So listen what gets me cross also. Not only that he sits there. Hi guys. Hi guys. Thanks for the super chat. Hi guys. Hi guys. Lots of love, uh, Cinnamon Gypsy, or whatever her name is. Um, and this is all it is. Hi guys. Thanks for the super chat. And then to add insult to injury, he's doing his live stream. And then she waddles away upstairs, this £400 plus woman, into his bedroom, shows her body in her jeans, tight jeans. Oh, 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 oh. it's frightening and everything. Oh, and um, really, it, it does make me shiver. Um, and with a fupa hanging down, which she laughs about. And then she takes her jeans off, she takes her top off. She wraps herself in one of his sheets. So all you can see is the sheets and her dirty bra strap. Um, she's, she's live streaming whilst he's live streaming downstairs. Members only on hers. Um, I don't think it's members only on his, but he's got membership as well. Now, this man, this real man, this Nada, Nada, Ada, Invader, he um, got that channel via Chantel. It was up and running, and within just a few days, I believe, say a week, he had over 5,000 subscribers within a few days, say a week, he was monetized. He's now got over 6,000 subscribers, not sure how many members. A lot of Chantal's very important bees as a jumping ship. I believe in letting their membership run out. Good for you, because you're getting nothing for it. She insults everybody. She lies to everybody. She's not giving any content. If I came on here now and I said, OK, guys, just wait a minute. I'm um, just doing this and I'm just going to eat this and... Somebody came in the room and I was talking to them. And this is how it goes with them. Is that content? And it goes on, not for five or ten minutes. It goes on for hours at a time. It's not content. It's not interacting with viewers. It's not giving opinions or making a point or giving information. It's not doing anything. It's them just living their life and laughing at the people off to the side who are hanging on their every word, listening to see what, you know, what they might catch them out in. You don't need to catch them out in anything. It, it, it's all perfectly clear, blatantly obvious. There are a couple of scammers, the both of them, they're getting money for old rope, 10,000 a month. For what? Ask yourselves for what? She admitted recently that if a YouTube channel took a nosedive, she don't know what she'd do. She doesn't know what she'd do. She admitted that she's not employable. How about that? A 37-year-old being not employable because of the fact that she's over £400, which she is. All this rubbish about she's 339, 350. No, she's a lot more than that. A lot more. 
and I'm beginning to, to wonder also with NASA whether it was actually on the spectrum. Because as I say, all we're getting from him is, I know it's a different language and all the rest of it. But as his English is so bad then, that he can't understand half the time the spoken word or the written word. It would be like me, and I do know some Arabic because I work there, but it would be like me going to Saudi Arabia, getting on and talking rubbish, you know, and just saying like, Inshallah, Mafi Mushkala. God willing, no problem. That would get me through a live feed. Mafi Mushkala. God willing. She's not wearing her engagement ring either, is she? I noticed. You know that ring that she got? That beautiful ring. Now, normally, when you get an engagement ring, it's your beloved who gets it for you, um, or eternity ring. It's your beloved who gets it for you and gives it to you. Sometimes, not even, you, you know, well, yeah, the eternity ring comes later on, doesn't it, during the man marriage. But um, you don't, by your own, if you've got a man there who is apparently wanting to get engaged to you. He's got money. He's got money coming in. He used to do the odd jobs, cash under the table, so he wasn't paying taxes on it. Which he doesn't do now because he's a full-time Chantelion. A full-time butler. Chef, butler, manservant. Because she asked him to be. So that's what he's doing. But nevertheless, he's got money. As I said, she pays his rent, buys the food, pays the bills, gives him pocket money, buys his clothes. And now he's got his YouTube channel up and running with 6,000 supporters and super chats thrown his way. Hi guys. Thanks guys. Sorry, my deep. Um, and it's just disgusting. My channel, right, had it a few years now. I haven't um, gone out of my way to grow the channel because I didn't have the time to and I wasn't sure where where I was going to be concentrating on. It was going to be just for our family really um, to map the journey with Alfie and his illness and then it moved into something else. But And I've got another channel in my name and Alf's name. But um, you know, I haven't really pushed and haven't really tried. I might monetize now I'm over 2,000 subscribers. Um, I would never ask for super chats. That's something I'd never do. Um, but I might monetize. And the fact is, I've got to 2,000 subscribers on my own merits. Not because somebody's come in and I've had subscribers from them. Not because of any great drama that I'm building up and lying about. And also, I don't keep the channel going by sitting here like this. I might be a bit disjointed at times and all over the place. I mean, come on, it's Sunday afternoon and 
I haven't sorted anything out. But you'll always get content from me. Always. And yeah, I'm a little bit peeved that my channel's at 2,000, his channel's at 6,000. He's monetized, I'm not. That's my choice. But you're sitting there raking money in for nothing. Absolutely nothing. How disgusting is that? And she, the other night, was it last night? I don't know. Sat there laughing, kept muting the sound so all people could see was, you know, or if you were lip reading, you might have been able to read what they were saying, she was saying. But all you got, you got, got it muted and then when she turned it back on again and she was just laughing, didn't know what she was laughing at. And then all of a sudden, the most enormous wind from her back passage um, and she had to run to the bathroom and shout into him to, for some toilet paper. This was the content. She was in the bathroom, he was fetching toilet paper and you were looking at the screen with his wardrobe with all his shirts in. That's content, folks. It's so bad, it's almost unmissable viewing. But as I say, there's a lot of platforms that you can view it from without going through all the ads and watching all the ads. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm going to finish my tea and um, I don't think I'm going to be able to upload this till tomorrow for the simple reason that my darn internet is down. Um, so I'm just able to film but not able to upload. So I'll save it for tomorrow. Okay, speak to you later. Bye.